You know, sometimes sticky doors and windows can mean you have a problem with the foundation. That's what happened with this particular homeowner. They were having problems on the inside, and when they came outside, they saw cracks in the walls, and that ultimately led to problems with the foundation. What they did is hired a local contractor to come out and take a look and see what exactly was going on. They determined that, in fact, the foundation was settling, causing these cracks. So we're going to meet that contractor to find out what it takes to fix this problem so that people can protect their investment, their single biggest investment, their home. Joel, how are you? Good, how are you, Lou? You're the uh, project manager on this particular job in this area. Now, what this homeowner is experiencing in this area, is that kind of common? It's a pretty common issue. You know, it's pretty dependent on the soil conditions underneath the house. So you never really know until it happens. It's not something you can really predict. Right. So when you dig these holes, what are you trying to accomplish with those? What we do is we dig those holes down to the bottom of the wall and we affix a uh, industrial strength steel bracket underneath the wall itself. And then you put these pipes in that, that what, actually get driven into the ground? How, how deep do you go? Well, it really depends on the weight of the house as well as um, some issues with the soil, uh, the condition of the soil. So uh, we, we monitor the pressure as it builds as we push more pipe, and that dictates you know, how many pipes we use. And you use some type of hydraulic uh, press, right? A ram, and is it like a series of pipes? How do you actually do that? Well, basically, you're building up pressure. So as you add pipe, we, we uh, bring them in in three-foot sections for those rams, and they drive them down hydraulically, and uh, you gain pressure. Basically, you want to achieve a pressure that balances the weight of the house. Highly specialized stuff. Well, I'm going to let you get back to work, because what we want to do is get this thing all prepped out, and then we're going to actually show you them lifting the foundation back to where it needs to be so that the problem that this homeowner is having with that cracked foundation is a thing of the past. All right, so it's day two, and you guys have been jacking up this foundation. Your crack crew has been a crack crew. That's a joke. Have been dealing with all the cracks in the foundation. Now, tell me a little bit about that hydraulic pump there. Is that linked together? Yeah, basically, um, at each of our piers, we've hooked them up with a lift station, and those are interconnected hydraulically to our electric pump, and we use that to raise the house. And so, in other words, you can control each of those uh, piers to sort of act in unison as they lift the house up. That's correct. We can uh, level our pressures out across the piers. We can also open and close specific stations to change pressure. And once you're all done, this whole peering system stays there, right? You just cover it back up and. And does it just hold the house for the rest of its life? Yeah, it's designed to be a permanent system. They're capped off at the end. And when we're finished, the entire load of the house is transferred to these steel piers rather than resting on the clay soil. And finally, what about the cost? I realize it varies from job to job, but what can people expect to pay for this? Well, it starts in the low thousands. You know, a small job costs you four or $5,000, and it can get up in the tens of thousands, you know, depending on the size of the house and the size of the project. Obviously, choosing the right contractor is critical for this type of project. You don't just want to hire somebody that drives around in a pickup truck. And if you want to learn more about this whole process, then check out our website. It's all right there, housesmartstv.com.